Well, I never knew it was a plan. Tell Jackie, I'm still rolling. Tell Russell, I'm a brand. Sound Pete's mini pros earbuds review. Everybody get low. Had a couple hits and a couple solos. Now I got a couple Brits and a couple mobiles. Drop past that, everybody loco. Hey guys, so yes, I have been using the Soundpeats Mini Pro earbuds. Um, obviously they're wireless Bluetooth um, in-ear earbuds. Um, they will retail at 60 pound, but they are on offer, if you're seeing this nice and early, they're on offer for 40 pounds for the first week or two. So depending on when you're watching this video, get over to Amazon, I'll try and put the link down in the video description. Um, you might get them at 40 pounds, or they might be back up to the normal price of 60. So here they are. They are only available in black, but that's fine. So it says there's sound piece on the front. There is a light there. You can see it's USB type C. If I can, I've got a long enough cable. Plug in and you can see then there's a charging light on the front. When we open up, you can see the actual buds in there have just been uh, Listening to them, as you saw in the intro with my getting down. Um, so obviously you can see there, lights showing you that the buds themselves are charging. We'll come to battery in a moment. Um, it's a reasonably sized charging case. Let me just unplug that again. I mean, not, not huge, not crazy, but not small. I would say it's reasonable, similar to other. In fact, smaller than some, smaller than some of the Jabras I've had for bringing my Pixel Buds, oopsie. I mean, you could argue it's sl maybe slightly smaller, um, which is why I call it reasonable. I think it's okay. It's not. It's not too big. Um, it's a flip top open, and the the earbuds are held in sort of magnetically, so they fall into place quite easily. Um, the case itself actually feels really light. It makes me think it almost feels like it's hollow. But uh, yeah, it's very light, and as I've mentioned, USB Type C charging. The buds themselves, as you can see, I mean, they are just buds. There's no sort of wing. I mean, they're quite, I mean, it's not that they go, it's not that they go deep into your ear, but they are, um, they're reasonable size, but when in, they're, they're comfortable enough, they don't stick out too much. And even though they've not got wings, they fit in and sit in uh, fine. I've been jogging with these. I've not had any problems. You know, I never thought they're going to come out. Um, you do get three different ear tips in the case, so you can go to a bigger. I went with a bigger tip, which will give you a bit of a snugger, a snugger feeling in the ear. Um, but yeah, they're, they're quite comfortable. They are waterproof rated IPX5. And again, I went jogging with them in the rain with no issues. Pairing and connection wise, so they have, I don't actually know what it means, but QCC 3040 and Bluetooth 5.2, which I think are both are relatively new. Um, and I can tell you they, they connect very quick and easily, and I didn't have any issues with the connection dropping out or stuttering. It was actually really, really quite a smooth experience listening to music on podcasts. Um, they connect very quickly. By the time you've got them out of the case and put them in here, they're, they're probably connected already. Um, they also have AptX Adaptive, which it states uh, basically determines the best operating mode, low latency mode, high bitrate mode, low bitrate mode, uh, to provide you with the highest quality sound with less lag and more stable connection. Um, and they do even have like a gaming mode, which they say brings it down to 60 millisecond um, lag basically, delay, which is pretty good on wireless earbuds. I, I think ones that I often use for TV and things are around 100 and they're fine, you don't really notice or you, maybe your brain makes up for the difference or something, I don't know. Um, so 60 would be fine. Controls though, now controls are where I find their big issue to be. Um, I think they're quite confusing. So tapping once on one side increases volume, tapping once on the other side decreases. 
it's not uncommon that I wanna go, right, let's go to full volume, I'm at full volume, so you go ta 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 Well, a triple tap activates Google Assistant, so if you try and put the volume up three times, you're not putting the volume up, you're launching Google Assistant. Um, a one and a half second hold is the next track, or for me, more importantly, is, is skipping an advert in a podcast. So it's not uncommon I've got to do six skip forwards. If I've got to literally hold, and even then, it doesn't feel like it's a second and a half, but if you hold it, you wait for it to hear that it's skipping, and then you let go. It feels more like about three seconds. So if I've got to do that six times, one, two, I might as well just listen to the advert. Um, so yeah, to me, the controls, and then they're not even that reliable, so double tap is, is to start and stop. I, I found sometimes I'll just take my phone out and pause it because I'll double tap and nothing's tapping. And probably part of it is, for all the will in the world, it'd be my fault because I can't actually tell exactly where the... Did I hit it then? Still nothing? Oh, to be fair, it only just connected as me saying it. It connects just like that. Maybe it's because I only took one out. I don't know, that's the slowest. So let's try now. That did start playing. That didn't stop it. That stopped it. So, and this is, and this is my point, they're just a bit unreliable, really, on the controls. Uh, there's also no auto detect when you take them out of your ear, so they will just keep playing unless you put them into the charging case or obviously stop it on your phone. Software and features, there is no app, um, which I think it really could do with it, and we're going to come to sort of uh, performance in a second, but it, it could really do with an app that's got an equalizer in it. Uh, the, there is noise cancellation, so again, holding the left button cycles through noise cancelling, pass through, and normal. And you can tell a difference in each of them, not a great deal, so noise cancelling, I say, just kind of takes the edge off it. Um, pass through, I mean, really minimal difference to anything else, if I'm very honest. Um, but it's there. You can, I think I already mentioned, you can initiate Google Assistant. Three taps on the right bud um, for that. So we get into performance, which is probably the, the strength of the buds, because um, they really do sound very good. I mean, I, I was just listening to them earlier as I filmed bravely for the intro, and they do sound really good. I can really get into some some good music, some good bass. Maybe there's just a little too much top end, and if I had an equalizer, I'd take a little bit of the edge off the top. Um, but they, but that I think does show what great range they have, um, and they're almost too loud. I generally I've not got them at full volume when I'm listening to them because they just they are really loud. I'm down at sort of eighty or ninety percent, perhaps. Not a long way down, but just, yeah, top volume is, is very loud. Um, phone calls, I had mixed results. So, I, I mean, I made a call in in, in my bedroom, um, and I was told, yeah, it sounded really good, really clear. Uh, but then, and I'm fairly sure I'd made a call out for a walk one lunch time, and it was all fine. But then a couple of days ago, I was out for a walk, and, and it was almost unusable. The other person couldn't hear what I was saying, and there was a little bit of a breeze. And I, I mean, I think the wind was interfering with the microphone, but... It just seemed really odd that it hadn't that the other calls had been so good, and then this one was so unusual. Almost like maybe I just had a bit of a weird connection. I don't know. Because um, it does say they've got CVC 8.0, which is supposed to help filter background noise. I mentioned game mode, but there is a game mode that reduces latency to 60 milliseconds, which is very good for wireless buds. Uh, battery life. So Sound Peaks claims seven hours. Now I used them for a good hour and my phone was telling me they still had 80% left, so seven hours is possible. And that's actually, I think that's really good battery life for tiny little, I mean, look how small these buds are. And that thing can last for seven hours, allegedly. I mean, definitely it's gonna go four or five hours, even on sort of, you know, music full volume. I think that's really good for something that small. And then it should charge three times from the case. Uh, so in theory, you're gonna to get to 21 hours in total. So, all in all, they are very good. I think it's going to be depending what you need them for. If it's for, for I, I really, I'm really unsure about the phone calls thing, because twice they sounded very good, I was told, and the one time they were unusable. I think I just have a one-off issue with the one time. Um, controls are just, I just think, really bad. 
So if you interact with them a lot, like I do skipping adverts in podcasts, then you might have a bit of an issue with them. If you just want to pop them in your ears and go and listen to music, they're kind of they're kind of ideal um, at this sort of price point. I think they sound really very good. I think the sound the sound quality I think is probably of something up into the three figures. Um, they've got strong battery life. You could do with controls of some kind through an app or something um, in the graphic equalizer. And the controls themselves are just there. Yeah. I mean, maybe maybe they're going to release a software update for the for the controls to improve them. I don't know to change them. Again, ideally, it would be an app where you can set what the different controls are. So, I don't know, one tap is um, start, stop. Two taps is is skip or something like that. Um, but they are a good, comfortable fit as well. So, yeah, I don't know whether they're the right earbuds for you. That's kind of up to you now, I suppose. I've given you, hopefully, all the information you might need. Um, there we go, the Soundpeats Mini Pro earbuds. £60 on Amazon, or £40 if you're buying them early enough after this video has been released. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I do read all of them. But for now, my name's Andy, and I'll catch you all again soon.